Well, they may not only be unsightly, but varicose veins can certainly be painful for some people. So what do you do if you're dealing with this condition? Help is here for you this morning. Dr. Nisha Bunke from the La Jolla Vein Care Clinic is here with us this morning. Thank you so much for coming in. We do appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Talk about varicose <laughs> veins for a moment. I know my grandma dealt with this and it used to break my heart watching her try to cover them up all of the time. Uh, there is hope and help for people out there dealing with what can be not only unsightly, but sometimes painful for people. Right, so varicose veins are a common condition. They affect one in four or five Americans. And what they are, they're those bulging, lumpy um, veins that are not just unsightly, but they can be painful and they can also cause disability. And so as far as um, varicose veins that are literally throbbing from the skin compared to the ones that are flat, is there a difference between the two? There is. So, so varicose veins, they're basically what they are. Whenever you see varicose veins, they indicate an underlying problem called venous reflux or venous insufficiency. Um, the, the smaller flat veins are, are typically spider, spider veins. So they're a little bit smaller in size, but they're still veins that are not healthy. Okay, so we're looking at some animation here of the difference between what was likely a normal vein, a healthy vein on the left, and then a diseased vein valve on the right. Uh, this can be caused because it's hereditary. What are some of the other causes of this? Right, so genetics is the main risk factor for developing varicose veins. Most people have a family history of a parent or a grandparent like yourself who had varicose veins. If both parents had varicose veins, you have a 90% chance of developing them yourself. Other risk factors are increasing age. The older we get, the more likely we are to develop varicose veins. Although I have seen varicose veins in teenagers because there is such a strong genetic component. Mm. Women are three times more likely to develop varicose veins because hormones have a strong uh, influence in the development of varicose veins. Pregnancy is a risk factor itself. I know it happened to my sister, and she said, these better go away by the time this baby comes out. And they did for her, but sometimes yeah, they don't for right. other so people. Yeah, right. So 50% of people with varicose veins during pregnancy, they'll resolve within three months after pregnancy. The other 50%, you're pretty much stuck with them. Mm. Um, other risk factors are obesity, um, leg trauma, immobility, and standing occupation. So people who have standing jobs, like healthcare workers, teachers, um, flight attendants, are at a higher risk of developing varicose veins. So what can we do to solve the problem? I know that uh, some people used to wear really thick, tight stockings on their legs in order to keep everything compressed. Is that still an option in order to prevent them? Yeah, so we still recommend wearing compression socks, especially people who have standing or sitting jobs. The compression socks have evolved, so they're much more uh, stylish, but still therapeutic now. Um, moving, it's a gravity problem. So if you're standing or sitting for too long of periods of time, you should get out of your, get out of, get up from your desk stretch and walk legs, around, stretch your legs. Get the blood flowing. Yeah, yeah. elevate your legs. Uh, as far as some treatments that are available with you guys, I think a lot of people fear surgery when it comes to varicose veins. There are some up and coming treatments, some stuff that's already out there that's amazing and no surgery involved. Yeah, fortunately, there are minimally invasive treatments now for treating most varicose vein conditions. So nobody really needs to have varicose vein stripping surgery anymore. So the, there's a, a variety of treatments depending on which veins are affected. There's radio, there's radio frequency and laser treatments where we put a skinny wire into the vein, deliver either radio frequency or laser energy, and we heat the vein and close it down that way. There's also injections where we can inject a medicine into the vein and it'll cause it to shrink and eventually dissolve. So you can get rid of these veins without having any surgery, without the cutting. And, and wear those summertime shorts again. We were seeing right. some of the pictures right there and it's remarkable. I mean, going from uh, what looks like to be quite a painful vein to nothing at all. Yeah, and it's less traumatic, so you can get back to normal activities right away. Minimal pain. Most uh, procedures are done in the office in less than an hour. Fantastic. So. Dr. Tabunke, thank you so much for sharing this information with our viewers this morning. LaHoyaVeinCare.com is the website in case you need some more information. Again, that's LaHoyaVeinCare.com. Keep up the good work. Thanks thank for you. coming it's in. Thank you. It's my pleasure. More information, go to our website, SanDiego6.com. Click on San Diego Living.